Hey everybody, guess who's been back? We back in Cleo's kitchen. Did y'all miss me? I miss y'all so much. I hope everybody's still being safe during this COVID-19 crap. I know we're so over it, but I hope everyone's still washing your hands, keeping a safe distance, social distance, wearing your mask and everything wherever, wherever you go. I had to move in the midst of this all, but I'm so happy we're doing our first video in my new home. Go, go, go new home, go new home. So, you know, blessings are still being poured down. So we can't complain, I can't complain. At least I can't complain too much. But we're gonna get into it today. We're gonna make some scratch made cornbread for some homemade cornbread stuffing. And it's gonna be the bomb.com. Okay. Oh, and this is the first time I'm using my baby, my KitchenAid mixer. Isn't she cute? Okay. So in the bowl, we have two cups of cornmeal and two, and two cups of flour. I doubled the recipe, so everything is supposed to be one cup of cornmeal to one cup of flour. But I doubled it because I'm going to make a, a kind of a big pan of it. But here's the rest of the ingredients. I got, it's supposed to be one fourth cup of sugar, but I got two of one fourth cups of sugar. A fourth cup of oil. I have three eggs. It's supposed to use one large egg to each cup. But since they're small, I added a third one. So if you was only doing one cup, um, uh, flour and one cup of cornmeal, you would only need one egg. So I doubled it. And I have two cups of milk and I have eight teaspoons of bacon powder and a teaspoon of salt. So it's really supposed to be four teaspoons of bacon powder and a half a teaspoon of salt, but it's doubled. So you get my drift? Well, all right. Well, let's get started, baby. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to stir these two together really quickly, just to get them blended in a little bit. I got my mixer on too. And then to that, we're going to add our baking soda and, I mean powder, sorry about that, and salt. And the sugar. I had the sugar too. And just stir those together. And turn it up a little bit. Look at that baby go. So they can get well blended. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna grab my spatula, my pretty little spatula. I'm just gonna go around the edges just to make sure everything gets blended together. Okay, just like that. Our next step we're gonna add hold on y'all because this is my first time using this thing so I'm trying to be like real careful but you know bear with me okay so now we're gonna in a separate bowl this bowl here I'm gonna add all of my wet ingredients Add my oil, my two cups of milk, and 
and my eggs. Paper stuff. And now I'm just gonna whisk these together. Just whisk it. And now I'm going to pour that mixture into our dry ingredients. This is our homemade scratch made cornbread. So if you ever want to make homemade cornbread, this is the recipe right here. And then we're going to turn, once that cooks and bake, we're going to turn it into some cornbread stuff. But right now, this is just the cornbread recipe. You got me? All right now. And then we're just going to put this back down and stir it. Let it mix. I'm going to mix it on two. Let that mix for a couple of minutes. Then we can stop, lift it. And if there's anything that is on the bottom, take your spatula, bring it up. See, look how much stuff was in, at the bottom. I don't want to waste anything. <clears throat> Let that back down. Let it mix some more. There it goes. That's the consistency you're looking for. Let's check it one more time. I'm gonna let it stir up some, a little bit more just to get some of those lumps. Cause it's lumps at the bottom. So we wanna get all, all of that out. We don't want no lumps. Scrape your sides down with your spatula. Almost there. ready so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in a cast iron skillet and you're gonna preheat your oven to 425 make sure your oven oh, excuse me is heated to preheated to 425 okay so now this is my cast iron skillet you see it's nice and seasoned already Season means when you're done using your cast iron skillet, this is how you take care of it. You wash it with hot water and mild, a drop of mild soap. Then after you're done washing it, you put it on the skillet, turn the fire on, let it dry out. After it dries out, you take a little bit of oil and with a napkin or a, a clean rag and just oil your your um your cast iron skillet not to the point where you can fry something in it or anything like that mm -hmm. just grease it so it won't rust and that's how you take care and store your 
cast iron skillet. And cornbread is cooked best in cast iron. So we're going to use my cast iron skillet. I'm just going to pour it over in there. That's the consistency you're looking for. The bowl is heavy. I'm going to take my spatula just to get the rest out. You don't want to waste anything. All that, that goodness, get it on out of there. Put this in our oven. I'm going to put it in the middle and let that bake. It should be 20 minutes, but I'm going to check on it in about 10 just in case I want to switch and put it at the top for browning. And we'll be right back, boo-boos. We'll be right back. <laughs> okay, guys, so it's been about, ooh, look how pretty that looks. Doesn't that look beautiful? So it's been about 10 minutes. We're gonna get it about another more, like another, another more. Y'all heard of that. <laughs> We're gonna give it about another eight to 10 minutes and see how it, how it looks then. But it's starting to look gorgeous already. Look at it. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, our cornbread is done. Look how pretty it is. Look how pretty nice and golden it is. See, if it wasn't for stuffing, I don't usually let my cornbread get as brown, but I like it a little bit more browner when I'm making stuffing. But that's how you make scratch made cornbread. Now we're about to see if it's real. I'm gonna stick a fork in there. If it come out dry, you know it's done. Yep, it's done, babies. It's done. So now we're gonna let this cool for about 15, 20 minutes, just cause I don't want it real hot. So we're gonna let this cool off and then we're gonna get to our stuffing recipe. Okay, my cornbread is cooled off and ready to go for our cornbread stuffing. Now I got some broth, some chicken broth that I had going on while I was cooking and baking the cornbread. We're gonna need that for our stuffing. It got all types of veggies in it, some chicken, and I just let it all boil down and seasoned it really good and made some scratch made chicken broth. And we're gonna strain that, so all that stuff you see is not gonna go into the stuffing, but we're gonna strain the broth into the stuffing. Don't mind my pork chops I got over here. We, make, we gonna eat some smothered pork chops with that stuffing. Okay, and over here I got some, the Holy Trinity, y'all. Some celery, green bell pepper, and onion. And then this bowl, I have that chicken that was in the broth and I just shredded it up. That's gonna go into our stuffing. So, and I use only, this is one bell pepper and one large onion. And I use two stalks of celery. I didn't wanna put too much celery because my kids don't like to bite into celery. But I'm gonna use the celery seasoning to um, season our stuffing as well so these are our seasonings that's going to be going into our stuffing I got some garlic powder seasoning salt i got some pepper white pepper because i don't got no black pepper but it's the same thing um some celery seed onion powder and some poultry seasoning and i got a can of uh cream of chicken condensed soup now let's get this going i got my cornbread over here it's nice and cooled off so y'all can just grab it and crumble it up and just throw it in the bowl y'all my hands are nice and clean so no worries honey and look at the middle of that that's gonna be some good stuffing because we got some good cornbread Kind of hot. 
See them golden edges? Nice and golden. We better go up in here. We better go, girls. And fellas, we better go. And I usually do it, my um, my veggies, how my Nana does it. My Nana, she gets all her veggies and cut them up and put them in the blender and just blend them all together and make like a sofrito, kind of, instead of all the stuff that goes into the sofrito, like culantro and cilantro, it's green onion, bell, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, not green onion, green bell pepper, onion, and celery. And you can do it like that and just pour it into your um your stuffing. Okay, we gotta get that nice and crumbled up. Because we're gonna pour it right back into our um our cast iron skillet to bake it to go back in the oven. Okay. And remember our bra? All I did was strain it and put the can of um cream of chicken in it. And I'm just gonna mix that up in there. Just mix it up just like that. Up in that bra. Oh, splashing everywhere. I'm just a splashing. Okay. And now we're gonna pour our veggies right into our cornbread. Okay. And make sure all your cornbread is broke up real good. These little pieces, just shred it out on my hand. no more in your bowl I'm gonna just go refill this and I'm gonna be right back okay I'm just gonna add the rest of this hold on one second guys some bells, poultry seasoning. I know y'all know about bell. And y'all know I tell y'all to season it, use as much seasoning as you want to. It's your stuff. I'm just showing you how to do it. Some white pepper. Ooh, the window's open so the seasoning is just blowing at my nose. <laughs> I can't stop. Sneaky easy. Some seasoning salt. A little celery seed. Got some that good celery taste. The rest of my onion powder ain't nothing in there. Got plenty of onion in it though. <laughs> that can go in the trash. 
and the little godfather. The broth was seasoned already, so we, we don't need as much. And now I'm just going to mix it all up, mix it together. And always make sure your broth is warm. Don't use cold broth. Let it be room temperature or warm, but it's best warm. All right, babies. And you can taste it too. I know we just put raw egg in there, but I'm going to taste it anyway. Good, it just needs a little bit more seasoning on top. Just a little bit. That was a lot of it. A little bit more pepper. And I'm going to put a little bit more broth, just a little, just a tad bit. Okay, I'll be right back. Let me get this egg out of it. Okay, that should be good right there. That's the consistency you want. Right? Yeah. Let's give it another little taste. Sorry, y'all. Okay. I knew I was forgetting something, y'all. I kept tasting. I said, hold on. Something is missing, and it was sage. You need sage. I know we got the poultry seasoning, but I was like to put a little extra in there. So we're gonna add some sage. I knew something was wrong with my said, Hold on. This ain't tasting like we old stuffing. So we added some sage. Getting something. See, when you cook, you know your stuff. You know it, child. Okay, let's take this again. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yes, lovely. Okay, so now we got our cast iron skillet. All I did was wipe it out from the cornbread and add a little bit more oil. I'm going to put it right back in here. Drop it on in there. Drop it like it's hot on a Sunday. It's football Sunday too, y'all. Patriots. Well, we're going to watch Tom Brady play for the Buccaneers for the first time. Lord have mercy. I'm from Boston, so you know I'm a pass here, but uh, it's not going to be the same, not seeing Tom Brady in that uniform. And the verses with Miss Patty LaBelle and Gladys Knight. Who's ready? Cause I'm ready. Yes, if only you knew how much I do. Love the stuffing. Okay, honey. Yep, so we're gonna get it just like that. In the in the skillet. My oven is always still preheated because I got some chicken up in there. Oh, yeah, we eating today, baby. We got smoked pork chops, some barbecue chicken. We're going to have this stuffing, some rice, and some 
I don't know my veggie yet. I don't know my veggie yet. But it's going down in Cleo's kitchen today, huh? Yes, y'all see me. Look at me. Yeah, we got stuff everywhere. But we getting it done, baby. Okay. Now we're going to put that bad boy in the oven. I'm going to let that cook for about 45 minutes. I would say a half hour to 45 minutes. But in a half hour, we're going to check it. And if it still needs to keep going, then we'll let it go for another 15 minutes. And my, my stove, I cut my stove, my oven down. So my oven's on 375 right now, but I'm going to cut it down to 350. So I cut the oven down to 350. And I'll be back in a half an hour, love buds. Go, 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 go. Okay, guys, so it's been about a half hour, I'll say 35 minutes. We're about to check it, see what it's looking like. Oh, it's looking good. See how those edges are crisping up? They're getting brown around the edges. They just need a little bit more time so the top can brown. So we're gonna let that go for about another good 10 minutes, 15, the most 15. And it should be done and ready to rock and roll. All right. All right, y'all, our stuffing is done. Ain't it so pretty? Look at that stuffing. Yes, Lord. It's nice and golden. Golden brown. You can see all the veggies in it. There's some chicken up in there. Oh, my God. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good with that gravy from them pork chops. Lord have mercy. I've been waiting for this, y'all. I've been waiting for this. But y'all know what to do. Go hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. Go tell your friends where you learn how to make some cornbread stuffing. I put chicken in it, but you can put whatever. You can use turkey. You can use, if you don't want to use pork, you can use turkey. You know, whatever meat you want is your stuffing. But this is the recipe for my cornbread stuffing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Me and my family, we about to go enjoy our meal. And get ready for Patty and Gladys night. We leaving on the midnight train to Boston. <laughs> but I love y'all. Y'all know what to do. If you use the recipe, put in your comments how it came out. Share it with someone. Tell them to come subscribe. And y'all keep it easy and greasy. Until next time on Cleo's Kitchen, baby. Love y'all. Keep it easy and greasy.